Hello, my name is Sean Roach. I live at 42 Daniel Street in Newton, and I'm offering this video as testimony uh, related to the proposed changes to the garage section of the Newton City Zoning Ordinance, the so-called garage ordinance. Councillor Crossley, Councillor Danberg, and the rest of the members of the Zoning and Planning Committee, I am frustrated and I am angry that I am testifying about a garage ordinance. In 2020, police, Newton police, drew their guns on a man, on a black man in the streets of Newton. In 2020, we spoke the names George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmed Arbery, among others. And in 2020, people took to the streets of Newton and across the country to say clearly, Black Lives Matter. And yet in 2020, ZAP took no steps to end the systemic racial bias of exclusionary zoning in Newton, and in fact, went backwards. We are in the midst of a global climate crisis, and ZAP took no action to increase density in Newton. The most consequential step a municipality, especially an inner ring suburb such as Boston, can take to fight the climate crisis. In 2020, we continue to suffer a regional housing crisis, and yet ZAP took no action to increase opportunities for young people, older folks, young families to live in Newton. Instead, ZAP has now met eight or nine or ten times about garages. The ordinance is written as fine, but it should include a moratorium on new garages. The ability to add new car storage, especially attached garage space, is, a, is at odds with ZAP's stated goals for zoning redesign. Frankly, garages are a big, undiscussed story a big undiscussed part of the McMansion story. The ability to include a new garage is driven by the market. Having a new garage and new construction adds potential value, which creates an incentive to tear down and makes the home created even that much more expensive. Attached garages add physical mass, significant, significant physical mass to new construction. A big part of what makes a McMansion a McMansion is a big two or three car garage. Those big two or three car garages create a greater likelihood of conflict within the neighborhood context, especially if the street, block, or neighborhood has no or few attached garages, as so many of our Newton streets, our Newton neighborhoods, that is the case. According to Commissioner Lojek, only 20% or so of new garage permits, or permits that include new garages, are for existing homes. The rest are for new construction teardowns. Garages are helping to fuel what, everything that's wrong with McMansions. And indoor car storage is another element of induced demand for driving. The easier we make it to drive, the more people will drive, creating easy access to the home, uh, climate controlled, out of the weather, is going to make people drive more. We do not need garages in Newton. We do not need more garages in Newton. This is not even debatable. Thousands of homes in Newton either do not have garages or have garages that are unusable as car storage. My request, simply add a provision that a property is limited to the amount of indoor car storage it has as of 2020. Allow the property owner to make their one or two car garage a little bigger to accommodate today's vehicles. But make it so that any new car storage space has to be the same as the old, either detached or attached. A current detached garage space can be rebuilt, but current detached garage space cannot be converted to attached space. If we make 
these changes, if you make these changes, this will make the garage ordinance changes much more consistent with the goals of Newton's zoning redesign. And I hope, I really hope that in 2021 that the zoning redesign output is, is more consistent with and it helps us to achieve the goals of Newton's zoning redesign. Thank you.